One day, you wake up in the morning and have a breakfast with strawberry grown in Japan and coffee from bean grown in Brazil. Over breakfast, you watch a program on the television made in China. You drive to class in a car made of parts manufactured in more than a dozen countries around the world. Then, you open up your economic book published in American and printed on paper made from tree grown in Oregon. During your day, you also use many other products made from everywhere in the world. We consume goods and services put up by many other people around the world. So, why do people do that? Why do countries trade? Interdependence and trust are desirable because they allow everyone to enjoy a greater quantity and variety of goods and services. There are two ways to compare the ability of two people in producing the good. The person who can produce the good with a smaller quantity of inputs is said to have an absolute advantage in producing the good. The person who has a smaller opportunity cost of producing the goods is said to have a competitive advantage. The gain from trust are based on competitive advantage, not absolute advantage. When individuals specialize in the production of goods for which they had a comparative advantage, the total production will rise and then people sell together to get benefits from trade. The principle of comparative advantage applies to countries as well as to people. Economists use the principle of comparative advantage to advocate the free trade among countries. Created using Powtoon.